Hey everybody, this is uh, basically the last video on the rocket heater prior to it actually getting installed. It's, uh, it's nearly done. I'm going to say it's 99% uh, done. Um, I'll go over everything that I have done to it and <clears throat> some dimensions as well. My tube here is about 12 inches. I will say it would be nice if I could gain another 6 or so inches off the top just because most of the things I seem to break up seem to stick out about 2 inches. Um, but uh, the way this works is um, I lift this up and right behind here is the uh, obviously the, the 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 feed you know feed tube to the fire chamber. I stuff this full of newspaper. I load the top full of some small pine type things. Um, I lift this up and, and light it. Um, that gives me initial draft. I also um, made a uh, let's see. I made a. Uh, 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 ash scraper which I can also use to uh, push that that newspaper once lit back into the fire chamber um, so that it goes right up the riser and that'll get the draft going so um, there's my uh, there's my ash clean out show you the other end it's got a little decorative end on it That fits right inside, in between all the fire brick, and uh, the bucket's just sitting there. This is uh, this is from the last burn. Just not all of it, just the just the top little layer. The rest of it's from my from my grill. Okay, um, so uh, I made this I made this top, and uh, I threw this together this morning. Um, the handle is a dual purpose. Um, gives me a handle. It also thread I, I uh, welded in the nut right there and it acts if I, if I turn this gives me an air adjustment Ooh, you've seen the, the flames pick up but I found that it works the best once everything's up to temperature with this thing throttled all the way back see I've got just a smidgy of a gap there and no smoke coming out of the chimney. All right, and I'll let the camera readjust. All right, now let me open this up slow. There it is. This is the spring works out fine. It uh, keeps the heat off. It also if I slam it open it doesn't uh, you know it's kind of cool I don't know. Um, let me zoom in here I don't want to get the camera right in the right in the fire there but see that I got my hand right above it, I, it all the air is going right in there but I'll close that back up um, I found rain temperature ranges um, when I've got this full, when this is full and burning full throttle, this the top of this is about 450. That's about as hot as it gets. Um, and uh, when it's down to coals and just burning, you know, uh, you know, what do you call it? Just just coals burning good in there. Um, this runs at about 250 degrees, right at the very top. That bolt really doesn't mean anything. It's just, uh, I put it in there as a handle to take the top off and on. It gives me an extra handle. Um, this air vent, uh, I took the the, uh, the valve out of it and drilled it out so that my thermometer can fit down in there. Um, if I wanted to, oops, sorry about that. I looked away from the camera for a minute. If I wanted to stick my thermometer in there, I could. Um, Let's see what else. As I run down here, the temperature here um, averages right about 130 degrees. Um, a little bit lower, maybe 110, but right, right about center, which is the center of the fire pot and the center where the flue comes out, um, averages about 130 degrees. Um, here's a close-up of my uh, flange system. I've got uh, three of these all the way around, and. Uh, I made these brackets. This was two round brackets that came from a 
350 Chevy um, um, header uh, manifold, uh, what do you call it, a uh, header system. They were the flanges and, uh, and the connecting bolts for that. But what I did is I just cut them into thirds because there were three holes in there and uh, used them. And then I put gussets on the bottom, which was just left over from um, you know, from, you know, corners of the, of the, uh, um, you know, angle iron and such. And then, uh, the top ones, I, uh, I, I welded some washers in there and then I didn't like the way they looked. So I just welded them and filled it all in and kind of ground it off. So I tried to give it a little finished look. <clears throat> and, uh, and then I welded the bolts on the bottom. So that works great. Those are tougher than nails. Uh, speaking of bolts and mounting systems, um, the, the feed tube has a piece of angle iron welded on it, thin gauge, and then I welded a nut onto the tank, and uh, that way I get a nice tight uh, uh, bolt there. Um, I'm, I haven't yet, but during the final installation, I will be uh, using Firecock uh, IC15WB, it's yellow. And uh, I will be using it along this seam here. And I will be using it along this seam here where the rack comes through or penetrates the heat exchanger. Um, so that will be all sealed up. And then I will put a bead here before the, the final installation of the top. <coughs> and. I'm going to do one I'm going to do one more video on this thing as it's being installed. It'll be a long video um, and uh, I'll go over it piece by piece, putting it together, mortaring the bricks in. Um, and I got some uh, I got some some furnace cement to put the fire brick together with. Okay, moving around the back. Here's another bracket. I put one in the very back in the center and the other two um, up there on that side and up there on that side and then back here uh, again uh, range is about 130 degrees right here as soon as you get to here it turns to uh, under 100 degrees you see that I can touch see yeah I can actually touch that right there but it's pretty hot but here this uh, thin wall disperses the heat so fast I can put my hand on it and and it just it's warm, don't get me wrong, but it's not scorching hot. And that's super cool, because it's, it's, I'm getting all the heat off of that wood. Super efficient. I, I am super happy the way this turned out. This could not have worked any better. And I am super happy about it. Now, next video, we'll, we'll do the actual install, and I'll go through all of that. And, uh, alright guys and gals. Thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate your views, your comments. If you have any questions on this one, let me know. I'll uh, do my best to, to help you. And uh, I don't know. This is just a, this is an awesome, awesome tool. Uh, and and I shouldn't, uh, I should be able to heat the whole house with this thing. Man. All right, guys. Well, anyway, I'm Bible now on here. So I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Um, it'll be the uh, install, and I'm gonna. I think it's gonna be in like two days. <coughs> I'm gonna burn this for a couple days, uh, sitting out here. I wanna. I, I wanna burn the, as much of this paint fumes off as I can. Burn it. Burn it off super hot. Run it as hot as I can get it out here, and uh, um, and then uh, then we'll put it in the house. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.